hey, please laugh over here. Is this going to be in Japanese? It might be. I don't know if it's been localized. Treasure Video Games. Welcome back, everybody, to November 64. Uh -oh. What's happening? This game came out with a bang. Oh, jeez. I thought we were having sex, but we were begging for our lives. <laughs> what, what is this visage? This is what happens when you don't speak Japanese. Oh, it's in English, oh, but yeah. with Japanese subtitles. This is not what I was expecting. Uh uh. Oh my Holy gosh! Shit. What the hell? <laughs> I'm deeply concerned for the well-being of my lifehood. I'm gonna press start. Yeah, okay, you could press start. Sin, Sin and punishment. punishment. Oh yeah, I was right. This game came out in 2000. What the heck? When On did the Nintendo GameCube 64? come out? When did the GameCube come out? I don't know. 2003, 2002. Yeah. Whoa. I guess the year 2000 for the N64 is like in the middle because Mario 64 came out in 1986. So four years into the huh. life cycle, it's not. I just Whoa. googled Sin and Punishment. Well, when did the what the freak game? This is interesting. Huh. Is it good? This is not what I was expecting. The GameCube came out in 2001. That's why it looks so damn good. So I think, Matt, I think your original theory, or was it Jeff that said it last recording session last night when we said that... Win these back. these Win must back. have been the like, CD version of the N64s. This, maybe. Like, I, I this mean, it's the only way that it makes sense in my head. Well, we could look it up. This didn't come out in um, Th this the was, United States. Yeah, this is like... This was a Japanese only. I wonder if it got released in Europe. It's kind of cool that they're doing these Japanese-only releases. But on for some reason, Switch. they won't release Mother 3. Yeah. i got to tell you... Well, there's Mother 3, actually. Wait. It's like, it's the, like Earthbound. Earthbound series. Like oh. Ness and all that. It's the third one. The $600 game or whatever. i got to tell you, it's kind of oh, like shit, hilarious shit, shit. to me that they just sold Mario 3D All-Stars, and then they just put the N64 version of Mario for free on here. Yeah. yeah. Not you really gotta, free. You got to pay for it. But also the... The uh, the the All Stars version is like, it's better. It's a better version. It's it's more. Uh, it's more it's HD upscaled. It's, ca it's more calibrated. Yeah, you can play it in widescreen first of all. Yeah. The one on here is it got the bars inside. Yeah. So. There's I guess that. That's true. That that's. But the, still. That 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 <laughs> that's that's what's there that for this. Oh. I had a professor in college. He would end every sentence with. Uh, that's there for this. That's there for this. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. He was a weird guy. I wonder if this game is gonna change at all. Or if, if this, this is, is the whole it. game. It's yeah. on you're difficulty running, easy. You're running through a beautiful field. It's Watch like out! Savannah. Can you jump? jump? Yeah. Oh, I didn't press the right button. Guys, that's the jump button. If we ever get a million subscribers, uh -huh. can we ever just do like an entire month of Jet Force Gemini? Sure. We could. That game's hard as shit. I've never... i played it a little bit, but I have it on the Xbox. Matt and I rented it. Yeah, we own it now. We know, yeah, I bought it. I bought it um, when I was collecting all the N64 titles. It's a rare game, right? Yeah. Like, well, made, may, maybe made it by is. rare, yeah, not, not I, like... I believe it is. I think it is, because I think it's on the rare replay on the Xbox. Hmm. Yeah, but it's not that rare of a game. Right. In fact, it was a it's very... Confu it's confusing when they named their company that. Thanks, yeah. guys. Rare. We make the most popular and available video games of our time. Yeah. They are a good studio, oh. and I, I do enjoy all of their games. Not all of them. I like all of them. You name one you don't like. I can't. He caught on. <laughs> <laughs> name one that you don't like. I never really played Conker's. I like Conker. The multiplayer in Conker was awesome. I only played Conker a little. Holy shit, I don't like them. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tossing that crazy gun. Whoa, whoa! Yeah, kill somebody like that. Look at his arm. He looks like a ant. Oh my gosh. These are horrible looking characters. The shapes of their bodies. This looks like a like an early run of like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah. It probably and is. And then they were like, let's make them look cuter but bigger feet. This right here looks like it's like Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Yeah, maybe yeah, not, can... not quite as good, but still. Well, just like the track that you're running on, and like the way the camera is. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Does it feel? Is it fun to play? It's kind of. It's boring. 
You just kind of stand and move and shoot. It's like yeah. a rail shooter almost. It's an unreal shooter, but it's ridiculously uh, oh, you're easy. You're not getting. You're not getting their prizes. Well, didn't you get? Did you choose easy mode? Yeah, I did. So maybe you need to do a little <laughs> harder. So maybe you're to blame. Look at that. Oh, I am. There's literally those exact same kind of like uh, dragonfly helicopters in Sonic. It's crazy to me that this is only a year before those games on the GameCube were coming out. I know. Because like actually. They probably literally, realistically, could have used some of the same elements. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, except Sonic is a Sega game, and I don't know who made this. Treasured Planet video games, well, or whatever they were called. The, the Sonic games I'm talking about came out on the GameCube, so for all we know, they could have been in development already. Yeah, but I'm saying that, like, Sonic is made by Sega. And not, and not whoever the made this. Yeah, the company that made this game. Can you not move? Well, you can. Those guys have, like, big old sword arms. Get yeah, bonus. I get think you shoot bonus. those bonuses. Nice fire leaping. Kill those bears! Ruffian's here already? Uh, do we know, like, what's going on? Uh, looks like we're getting invaded by aliens. But sometimes you're shooting men. It's Zerg. It's yeah, the Zerg. The Zerglings. Little Zerglings. Uh -oh. oh shit, oh shit. That's a lurker. It's an old, yeah, it kind of is a lurker. Or an ultra lisk. I thought he was going to burrow underground and shoot spikes at you. Yeah, no, I thought I had to use spine. a science vessel. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had to press a 1A and move my army. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Bro, you're only dissing me because I have more Vespine gas than you. You do have a lot of Vespine gas. It's I'm true. Spewing it out your ass all day. It's true. I wish I had some minerals. Look, that guy looks like a zealot. He kind of does. But less less blue. Yeah. Did you know that StarCraft came out in 1998? I didn't know that. Well, now you know it twice. Oh, no, don't kill me, please. Did you know that StarCraft was originally supposed to be a Warhammer 40k game? I was it really? That. Yeah, and, and Warcraft was originally supposed to be a Warhammer game. Interesting. I did not know that. Did you know that the World of Warcraft is a game? That what? Exists? Yeah. What the freak? And Ga Games Workshop was like... We don't want to give you guys the rights for whatever reason. They were being really choosy about publishers, and, they, and Blizzard up to that point didn't really have a lot of like. They, 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 I don't shit. think they had ever made a, like an RTS game before. Then they had made some. They made like an arcadey kind of like that three dwarfs game or whatever. Yeah. And they made that one game where I can't remember what it's called, but you're like a it's it's like a side scroller game. You Blackthorn. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Um. And so I, don't, I feel like a Games Workshop was like, yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna let you do that. And so they were like, we'll just make our own IP. And then they did, and yeah. now it's like bigger than, bigger than big. Bigger than big. It made the big one of the biggest fucking game companies in the world, and then they shit, shit the all over it yeah. constantly. But we can't deny that they had like ten years of supreme reign. Oh, uh, uh, shit. I mean, I guess. It, de it depends on if you were into World of Warcraft. If you were into World of Warcraft, then yeah. Well, even like StarCraft, and StarCraft 2 was really good uh, for like two years. Yeah, but like... Uh, Diablo 2. I don't think that like in 1998 when StarCraft came out, I don't think it was the biggest game around. What game? StarCraft. I mean, it almost single-handedly birthed what we know esports today as. Yeah, I, I agree with you, but like it was a, it was a niche game. Like, in 1998, everyone was going bonkers for console games. PC gaming was not that exciting. Maybe here in America, but in Korea, they had that shit on national television. As soon as it came out? Not as soon as it came out, but, like, shortly after. They were doing tournaments, really? like, way back in the early 2000s, yeah. That's I didn't cool. know it was that old time. But I'm just saying that I think that StarCraft competitive was niche for a very long time in the western world in our lives cuz hmm. you didn't get into it until like 2007 yeah 2007 2008 yeah it was i know it was later than that it was like 2009 2010 i don't know well when you're thinking of when i got into it isn't like when i was first exposed and watching it i was watching it before that but i just didn't like follow it as much as i used to or you know, you know yeah, what I know what you're trying to say. Yeah. But, uh, but, like, that's when you really got into it and you played a lot. Yeah. There we and go. And after that. And then StarCraft 2 came out and yeah. they played a shit ton in the beta. 
And when it first came out, and I was a high rank, and I was a diamond rank, and I was like, I'm the man. And I went to a bunch of tournaments and stuff, and I actually did pretty well, and it was so legendary. And then HOTS came out, and then I stopped playing, and then the game got not fun anymore, and all my professional teams started doing bad. And then I was just like, I guess I play League of Legends now, and now... I'm fat, ugly, and I have no job. <laughs> you do have a job. But I though. still play League of Legends. No, I don't. That's true. You tried. Didn't? Did you boot it up the other day, or is that my brother? I, I played it. I, I played it for a few years, but I, I booted it up again for the first time in like four years or five years, like uh, four months ago. I played oh, one yeah. game, and I was just like, never again. This shit sucks. Matt's playing the obligatory elevator level. Yeah. Every rail shooter needs to have an elevator level. Every game needs an elevator level. Yeah. Name one game without an elevator level. Mario 64. No, that's not true. That's they not have true. elevators. It's pretty much a magic carpet ride in space, rainbows, but... Yeah. Um... I don't think StarCraft has an elevator level. Dude, uh, I think once it, again, I, think I know does. more than you do about StarCraft. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> once again? Nah, yeah. <laughs> I never claim to know more than you. I'm a Starboy. I was never that into it. I liked it. I played it as a kid, but it was definitely my brother's thing. And mine. Well, yeah, but I didn't know you. You didn't know who I was? When no. I was like eight, no. You must not have been on the internet at the time. Because Zach was huge. I was huge. Oh, shit. I was like Carrot Top. I was huge, man. This kid won't shut up. <laughs> this just in, national news. This kid is the most insufferable prick. It was on the AOL homepage. <laughs> yep. Somebody shut this kid up. Oh no, it's the ruffian's commander. Oh no. Lizard Seamer. Gross. He seems like a lizard. Yeah. yeah. He's a lizard. Can you like jump dodge or you just have to run around? Oh, maybe. Did, oh, I thought you died. Oh, I can double ha, jump. Ha. I didn't oh. know I could double jump. Well, we talked a lot about StarCraft in this episode and not a lot about the game we're playing. Yeah, it's cool. It's interesting. It's definitely not something I've seen before, and that's cool. Like, it looks kind of cool. It doesn't look fun, but it looks good. Matt, you ran out of time. Oh, really? I'm sure there's just a time bonus. Hey, you died. Oh, I did. Wow. It got a, it got a bit harder at the boss in the back one, so. Do we do another episode of this? It's up to Matt. Sure. <laughs>